Today, we will show you how to troubleshoot a Garmin radar. For this video, we will be using a GMR Phantom 24X dome radar and the GPS Map 1243 XSV, but the process is similar for other Garmin Marine radars. You will also need a digital multimeter. A digital multimeter allows us to measure how much voltage we are receiving through a power connection. As a note, simple test lights are not sufficient for proper troubleshooting. You would also need an additional working network cable. First, check the status light. Garmin Marine radars have an LED light on the unit near the power and marine ethernet port. The light color indicates the status of the radar and can be helpful when troubleshooting an issue. There are several light codes. A green blinking light indicates the radar is working normally. A red blinking light indicates there is an error and more troubleshooting is required. The radar is not receiving enough power if the LED is not lit. Next, verify the radar is detected by your Garmin chart plotter. Press Home. Settings. Communications. And Marine Network. This page will list all devices recognized over the Marine Network. Ensure your radar is listed. Check the network connections if your radar doesn't appear in the list. Ensure the network connection is secure at the chart plotter and at the radar. Swap the marine network cable if you still don't see a connection to the radar. You can pull another known working marine network cable from another device to use as your test cable. Now we will test for power going to your radar. First, ensure the connections to the power source are firmly connected, not corroded or loose. The power cable for our equipment will have a threaded collar. Make sure the collar is fully tightened and the cable is fully inserted into the unit. Now we will test the battery or power source. Keep in mind every boat and installation is different and the equipment we are using may not match what you have on your boat. If you are uncomfortable performing any troubleshooting yourself, please contact a professional for assistance. You will need a digital multimeter for this test. Refer to your manual for instructions. We will want to test for DC voltage. The symbol for this is typically a V with a straight horizontal line and a dotted horizontal line below it. Now take the red lead and connect it to the positive power connection. Then take the black lead and connect it to the negative power connection. Don't worry about accidentally doing this backwards. It won't damage the equipment, but it will show a negative voltage reading. Simply swap the leads around for a correct positive reading. The voltage on a fully charged resting battery should be around 12.4 or 12.5 volts. Do not run a voltage test with the motors running or with the battery actively being charged. The battery is likely bad and needs to be replaced or reconditioned if the voltage is below 12 on a fully charged battery that is rested for 24 hours after a charge. Test the radar's power cable if the battery voltage is above 12 volts. Take the red lead and touch it to the positive voltage socket. Touch the black lead to the negative voltage socket. This should be 12.4 or more volts. Replace the fuse if the voltage is reading below 12.4 volts. Then, recheck the power cable voltage. If you are still reading less than 12 volts, there may be a problem with the power cable or boat wiring. 
For further help troubleshooting power, please see the link on screen and in the description below. Plug the power cable back into the radar and tighten the connector if your reading is above 12 volts. The last troubleshooting step is ensuring the software is updated on the MFD and radar. Keeping your software updated is important to the longevity of the system and its operation. If you do not see your radar on the network, still make sure your MFD is up to date with the latest software. Begin by selecting Settings, System, System Information, and then Garmin Devices. You can view your current software versions on this page. You can also verify your software's version through Garmin.com, Garmin Express, or Active Captain. For help with updates, please see the link below and on screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.